How's everybody doing? Hi. I'm Justin. This is Tess. Hi, y'all. Thank you so much for having us. It's a pleasure to be here. Uh, it's a pleasure to be here talking about uh, what we're going to do is yellowfin tuna. Uh, the peak seasons for yellowfin tuna right now is uh, about September to November. Yep. September um, through October. And yellow tuna is uh, it's fairly affordable, it's sustainable, and it's uh, not overfished, and it comes in plenty around this time of year. Um, when I went out to uh, went, went out to Maui, one of the uh, best things I, I brought back with me was the uh, the pokey that that we got out there, um, and they uh, used ahi tuna, which is what they call yellowfin or big eye. Uh, the big eye is very similar to the yellowfin tuna. Uh, um, we have. Uh, and pokey's like a, a street food, right? It's something yeah, that you can get it's in a chopped cart. up yellowfin, tossed with a marinade, and they have it in every market out there. It's uh, not cooked. It's just tossed in a little kind of a teriyaki marinade. Not just tuna. They have octopus, all sorts of different fish out there that you can get. It's just a fresh, delicious um, Like a dish. tartar. Style. Like a tartar. So what I'm going to do is we gotta, um, we're going to do it over a tabbouleh salad. I'm going to show you all how to make tabbouleh, a fresh uh, uh, wheat bulgur salad. It's got mint, uh, chives, parsley, tomato, onions. So basically what I did is I took the uh, one cup of wheat bulgur, boiling water, Take boiling water, cover the uh, wheat bulgur, wrap it, and let it sit for about 20 minutes. Take the uh, the wrap off and chill it, and then you end up with uh, kind of like a, a a wet grain. It's so easy to make. You just set it down, and then 20 minutes later, you fluff it up, and it's good to go. And it absorbs the marinade really well, um, and it goes great with all of the uh, the herbs that we're going to put in there today. And it's really uh, fibrous, it's good for uh, the digestive system. But I got the uh, chilled tabbouleh right here. Then we got um, red wine vinegar, olive oil, soy sauce. This is going to make up the marinade that's going to flavor this tabbouleh. Now it's important that you have it chilled or if it's still warm when you add the herbs they'll turn brown real quick. So I got the lemon juice, red wine vinegar, olive oil, soy sauce. A little bit of cayenne in there. I put a little more cayenne in there than usual today so I hope that with the wasabi makes you all nice and happy and spicy. So we got uh, cherry tomatoes quartered. We're gonna add that. Diced onion. That's not. And then our herbs. We got fresh chives, fresh mint, parsley. Now you don't have to use mint if you don't like mint. You can double up on the uh, other herbs. But there's a good amount of herbs in uh, this recipe. It should be uh, a lot of green in here. One thing they told me when I started working there is if you think that you have enough herbs, do twice as much. You just got to make sure that there's a lot in there so you can really taste the chives. Uh, the mint really adds a nice freshness, especially with the cayenne in there and the soy sauce because there are a lot of flavors. So always, always add just a little bit more of the herbs. It's, it's definitely worth it. So the salad's done. You can do this ahead of time, maybe a day ahead of time. Yep, sometimes letting it sit in the marinade a little bit longer, the bulgur wheat will actually absorb more of it, so the flavor just gets in there and it just tastes better. So don't be worried about making it a day in advance. No one will know. It'll just taste better. So we got our uh, fresh yellowfin tuna. Uh, these babies have been coming in so beautiful lately. Uh, at the cafe, we make uh, tuna salad out of these. We make uh, uh, just steak, blackened tuna steak sandwiches on our brioche buns. It's a bit, the, the recipe we're doing today, uh, the pokey appetizer is also on our uh, wedding uh, appetizer menu and it's a pretty popular dish. But this is basically the uh, yellowfin tuna. This is a smaller loin from a smaller fish. 
The yellowfin tuna, the smaller of the uh, fish is gonna be a, like a bright red and vibrant. The older and bigger they get, they're gonna be a little uh, darker in flesh. Both are equally as good. Speaking of bigger, I was doing a little research knowing that we were gonna be up here today and I looked up the uh, largest tuna, the largest yellowfin tuna that has been ever, ever been caught and that was in 2012, 445 pounds. So these fish are humongous. Um, it was caught in San Diego, not locally, but still it was a really big fish and uh, the, the guys were pretty excited. They won a million dollars for catching it. So pretty, pretty good prize, I'd say. And then they got to eat the delicious tuna, so win-win. So what we'll do now is we'll make the marinade that we'll toss, or we are, we're just gonna ladle it over the seared tuna. In Hawaii, we take the raw tuna and then chop it up real fine and toss the marinade with that. But here we're doing a, a little different take on it. So we got soy sauce, a little honey. This is going to sweeten the marinade up, give it a little viscosity, a little thickness. Lime juice. We got a uh, fresh ginger here. I'll just grate a little bit of that. Ginger is also really fibrous, so make sure that you do grate it. You can't chop it up because you'll be getting big chunks of ginger. It's much better to, to grate it. Or use a microplate if you have one. We got fresh garlic. Now everything about this uh, dish is it just just screams fresh. I mean, it's uh, the the um, the salad, the the marinade, the fish. I mean, you want to make sure you have the freshest possible yellowfin tuna that you can get. Which is why it's a perfectly seasonal dish because September, October are the um, is our two peak months to to get the tuna. So we got a little sesame seed here. We're gonna slice a little scallion. So this this marinade should be a little chunky with the sesame seeds, the garlic. Uh, you know, if you don't like ginger, you don't have to put it in there. If you don't like garlic, feel free to omit it. A little heat at the end, a little sriracha. How is it? Has everybody liking it so far? Have you tried it? Good, good. All right, so what I'm gonna do now, I got the tabbouleh salad made, the marinade for the uh, tuna. Now I'm gonna turn my little uh, pan on here. So I got the tuna on, so we try to utilize as much of this as possible. Uh, this is pretty much 100% uh, usable, but for the uh, dish that we're preparing, we want a small, tail the end, I mean you can use any portion of this, but you'll see there's this uh, chain, if you will. At the cafe, we'll slice that off and uh, clean it up and make tuna salad. Cut off the ends, this is good tuna salad. A little bit of vegetable oil. You want the pan to get nice and hot. While that's getting hot, we're gonna season the elephant. It's just a little salt and pepper mixture. Then we got our uh, sesame seed. A, I'm using black and white sesame seeds. Is there a difference in the flavor between the black and white? Not too much. Now, if you don't like sesame seeds or you don't have any, uh, or you want a, a spicier uh, fish, you can use cracked black peppercorn. You certainly don't have to use either. All right. Let your pan get hot with the oil in it. We're gonna cook this, we're gonna roll it around maybe 30, 40 seconds. 
If y'all notice the tuna that you had, it is browned all the way around and then still nice and super rare in the middle. And it's, it's delicious that way. Um, this is a sashimi grade tuna, which is what they do use in sushi. Uh, so it's, it's perfectly fine to eat raw. You just keep it, keep it in the right temperature zone. And it's, uh, it's really delicious. Okay, so we have the tuna ready to go here. We got the salad, nice uh, the marinated tabbouleh salad, uh, the tomatoes. Like I said, if you don't want to use tomatoes, you can use, if you don't have to, you can put something else in there, maybe asparagus or... We got the tuna seared 20, 30 seconds on each side. I'm just gonna slice a little bit off. Oh my gosh, it looks so delicious, do we? <laughs> All right, so we got tabbouleh salad, sesame seared, yellowfin. And what we did ahead of time, we took a little wasabi powder, mixed it with mayo, just for a little bit of heat. Just a dollop of that wasabi on there. And you're good to go. Simple yellowfin tuna salad, tabbouleh, wasabi marinade.